what's up guys this is Yasa welcome back to my channel you're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about three best releases from Perfume Depot in the last two years I've spoken about a lot of their releases it is an Indian house but they also are international from almost 11 to 12 years they have about 400 plus inspired versions they have their own blends as well and I've spoken about a lot of their inspired version but today I'll be talking about my most favorite three picks in the last two years okay so at number three is Pyrodos inspired version Mojave Ghost okay this is a beautiful release I haven't spoken about it yet in any of my YouTube channel neither Hindi or English this will be the first time that I'm speaking about it and I want you guys to try this out because this is in the top three that I'm going to speak about from Perfume Depot so Mojave Ghost an inspired version of Bayredo is a fresh scent but it is very unique because it has that chiku and guava sort of a vibe it's not too fruity or too sweet it is very well balanced imagine chiku and guava with a watery accord that is aquatic but it's not the typical ozonic sort of a vibe it is watery along with that fruity accord that i mentioned beautifully done it is very unique yet it is a crowd pleaser it cannot be hated by anybody that i can think of in the mid there is a very different kind of rose which is not rosy it is definitely not the feminine rose it is a very different a touch of rose along with magnolia there is a bit of violets as well which is not so evident because i don't like fragrances that is violets heavy because it gets a lot sweeter which i'm not a big fan of so the violets are just for a touch like a supporting role and in the base you would get sandalwood cedarwood and ambergris so overall a very beautiful formulation you have to try this one that is Mojave Ghost by Perfume Depot. The performance is also great. Two and a half hours of projection and eight to nine hours of lasting. At number two is Bayredo's another inspired version, Baldi Africa, which I have been talking about a lot in the last two years. This is their top seller since last two years and it is an absolute beauty. It does not really smell like the original is what I've heard because I have not smelled the original. But since the time I have spoken about this a lot, I've got feedbacks as well in my Instagram and also in my YouTube channel. So majority of them, I would say majority of them, at least 95% of them has given me positive feedback about this one few of them said it is good but it is nothing special to their nose so it's obvious that people have different tastes so these kind of responses are obvious but 95 percent of positive feedback is what matters so this one if you haven't tried it you definitely have to check it out baldy afrig do not go by how the original is because i haven't smelled the original and the ones who have smelled the original said they did not like the original but this one smells very different and it they liked it as well okay so what kind of notes i get i don't really compare this with the original again so it has a bit of blackcurrant there is citrus there's a bit of violets there is patchouli in the base the base is a little dark but not too dark okay it's not too heavy it is very well balanced it goes all around the year now if i forgot to mention mojave goes is perfect for summer this is an all year round kind of a fragrance but more suitable for the cooler weathers okay you can use it in the summer evening times as well because it's not too heavy but it, at the same time it's not too fresh aquatic as well that it goes in the daytime summer so do not try it in the daytime summer but it otherwise goes for all sort of weathers and in all occasion it is definitely unique it doesn't smell like any other fragrance to my nose the base has a lot of beautiful character has that cocoa there's a bit of patchouli there's a nice woody base there's vetiver musk and amber so overall a beautiful fragrance performance is also decent enough two hours of projection and seven to eight hours of lasting okay baldy Afrik by perfume depot do not go by the original or any other baldy Afrik inspired versions that they have tried because the perfumer or the owner of perfume depot told me that he has formulated it in his own style so he hasn't gone by the actual inspiration of Bayredo. so he has made his own mix and match i don't know what exactly he has done but it turned out really well so you definitely have to check it out so at number one this is my absolute favorite tried in 2023 and I've spoken about it in my Hindi channel as well, but I don't think many people would have watched that. So I want you guys to try this one. This is absolute beauty, guys. I place this even better than Baldi Africa. If I have spoken a lot about Baldi Africa in 2023, I would say that this is an absolute beauty. And that is an inspired version of Dior 
Trafalgar Rouge. Now some might say that this is a women's perfume. Yes, it is marketed towards women. It's just like how Tom Ford Black Orchid is also marketed towards women, but majority of men uses Tom Ford's Black Orchid. So I would put this in the similar line. Doesn't mean that this smells like Black Orchid, okay? All I'm talking about is the gender differences here. This does not smell anything like feminine to me, but it definitely smells unisex. A man can definitely carry this one out because I wore this for a marriage function and I received a compliment after three years, guys. The performance is also great. I did overspray because it was a marriage function. I went about 12, 13, 14 sprays maybe, but it was 12 plus sprays because it was an outdoor function. So obviously those are the occasions where you can overspray and I received a compliment after three years. So it's not about the compliments. It's all about the overall formulation here. It doesn't smell anything like any other fragrance that I have tried. It is a shipray warm fruity opening. So when I say fruity, it doesn't go in the sweet, sickening type of sweetness. It doesn't go that way at all. Shipray, that means dry and warm fruity accord along with a beautiful base note of woody accord. Okay, absolute beauty doesn't smell anything feminine here it smells really class now all these three fragrances if they do not come in this type of bottle i would simply say that they smell very luxurious at least six thousand plus worth designer perfume they smell that quality okay the smell of that quality assume that it never came in this bottle you would have easily felt that they smell very luxurious because the overall formulation itself is like that it does not smell cheap it does not smell the most common type of blends it smells very unique yet it is very pleasing to the nose now in case i have missed to talk about the performance like i said three hours of projection if you overspray it 12 plus sprays and then eight to nine hours of lasting is what i got with this one so all these three are highly recommended by me from perfume depot for the year 2023 and i picked all three since the time I've tried it from 2021, in the last two years, I've spoken many other perfumes like Bulgari, Atlantic, Ultra Male from Perfume Depot. So let's forget all about that. This is 2023 now and these three are highly recommended. In case you're not from India, you definitely can get those international shipped. You can contact the seller in the video description box. So hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in case you've tried any of these. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.